A school near Lincoln is now thought to be one of the greenest in the country after cutting its carbon emissions by 60 per cent. It's estimated becoming more energy efficient will save William Farr School up to £180,000 a year. Sarah Walton reports. William Farr School is over 60 years old, but it's looking ahead to a more environmentally friendly future. Over the last five years, it's made big changes, like installing solar panels for electricity and ground source heating that uses water pumped through the soil to warm their buildings. But some of their changes have been much smaller and were suggested by the pupils. We worked with the janitors to help store the insulation, the LED lights in the building. Like when you have the heating on, uh, don't have the windows open because the energy is wasted. Anyone who wanted to sign an eco or green sticker had a chance to get it professionally published and stuck around the school. The head says it'll take six years to cover the cost of the changes, but after that it'll save them £180,000 a year, money that's needed more than ever. I'm sure I'll be facing another budget cut. We know it's coming. Uh, it'll be, it's a significant problem for all schools. But clearly if you're spending £180,000 simply on, on lighting and heating, very naturally that money not being used for that would go towards the education of the children and what could be better. The most recent addition is a £900,000 biomass boiler that uses wood pellets. The company that installed it helped the school finance the project and says many are being put off by the costs involved. We work with them to showcase that this actually is doable within Lincolnshire and actually all over the UK. We know that there is funding out there, there's investors that want to do it. Um, there's, there's companies like us who have the capability of changing a school completely. But it's not just about money. William Farr has been supported by Lincolnshire County Council. It says if more schools made these changes, it could revolutionise carbon emission levels. Schools make up about 66% of the County Council's carbon footprint, so we need to work with schools. It teaches children that there is a consequence to the energy they use and that how they can reduce those emissions. The County Council is applying for funding for a project to help more schools cut their carbon footprint and William Farr says they'll keep looking for ways to become more energy efficient. Sarah Walton, BBC Look North in Lincoln.